Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are starting a bit of an exciting vlog where I am going to read some popular TikTok books for a week. I am also traveling today. I'm going to Oslo for four days, is it? That is math. And I am kind of hoping to finish all of these books when I'm gone. <laughs> but it's five books and it's four days, which is... I also have school, so that's why I'm going. I have a huge April to BR, but I'm ignoring it and reading these books instead. I just thought for some reason combining also trip and popular TikTok books in one go seemed like a smart idea, but I don't know. I'm obviously gonna film a bit around over there, but I now done it like five times before this. I feel like it's getting repetitive and boring, but I don't know. But I'm doing some book shopping, obviously, but I still wanted to do some popular TikTok books for no reason at all. It's really because I work in a bookstore, I get enabled watching everyone buy the same books over and over and over. It makes me curious if they are good. Obviously the whole discussion about like what TikTok is doing to the market and doing in general, it's a long discussion that I'm not gonna take here. But what I think, and that's just my opinion, is that I think it's cool that a lot of people are reading and that it has become cool to read and that reading is going up and not down. That makes me happy. What they are reading is another question altogether, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the tastes today. So I wanted to pick up books that like, I feel like I wouldn't have heard about if it weren't for TikTok. I'm not even on TikTok, by the way, I just know what's popular there because it's what's always trending, it's what sells the most in the stores. <laughs> so I always know when a TikTok has gone viral, I just never actually see the said TikTok. <laughs> Book talk, whatever you wanna call it. I have a couple of titles I want to read. So let's see which one I should read first. I am feeling, because I'm traveling, so I would want to read like something super heavy. Like I want to read something light and chill. I don't actually know if it's going to be, but I'm starting with Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have it on Kindle Unlimited. All the books were available on Kindle Unlimited. One was on a brand. Why is all book talk books on Kindle Unlimited? I have questions. But I have no idea what this is about. I thought it was a romance, but it might be something else. I think it has been out for a while. Like, I don't think it came out now. But we are selling so much of it, so I know that it went viral on TikTok. Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> I thought it was released a long time ago. It was actually released in 2022. So I, I take it back. It's a, it's a book talk book in the best way. It says, and the first page it says, one, worst day ever. Oh my God. I just kind of dazed over, I read about dazed as well, the first page and it's written in an <laughs> interesting way. I will keep you updated. Hopefully I'll have finished it by the time I'm at my hotel or like soon finished. So yeah, I am leaving soon as well. So let's go on a journey and read TikTok books, book talk books. I can't decide what to call it. See you soon. Hotel room time. Huge bed. I love to see it. And then we have bathroom with an actual shower. I love to see it. Um, that was all room. I am going to the bookstores now because I like to do it like when I arrive before settling into this bed and dying basically. I think I might actually need to use this this time because I need to do some work and I want to sit up when I do it. I can lounge in this chair. I don't think that I'm like, I don't need to have the computer on me. I don't know, but I'm going to the bookstores, I think. I need to check if it's open first, then I'm going if not. The bed looks tempting.
feeling like very official sitting here because I'm sitting by the desk and like the chair is not comfortable that I need to do some work I need to edit a video and do some school stuff even though it's 8 p.m before going to bed and read for the rest of the night but I want to update you about my reading and show you the books I bought books bought first yes I will put you down here so I only got three books only but I got three books so I got The Willful Princess and the Tie Ball Prince by Robin Hobb. This is the short show collection belonging to Realm of the Elderance. And I didn't read it when I was supposed to, because I think you're supposed to read it under Tidy Man, and I didn't. Oops. And then I got A Celia Sword, which is very ironic, because I literally finished the audiobook like when I sat down by this desk because we were listening to it. I want the physical copies. Now I have the first one at all covers and the new ones, the next ones in the new ones, but the newest, newest ones, I think. Not provenance, but just in state, only have the new covers. So I wouldn't be able to have them all matching anyway, so I'm a bit whatever. Just finished this one. Very, very enjoyable. Very, like, a bit confusing, but very, very fun. And my next audiobook, which I'm going to then start tomorrow morning, will be Instead of Mercy, which I also got. They didn't have provenance. So that is my next audiobook after that again. And I'm hoping to finish now Instead of Mercy, like, within the next, like, two, three days. And then finish provenance like really early next week just yes, i think the loans are going out in like nine days hey <laughs> but that's what i got done and then for my thoughts on i literally forget the title for this book like every four seconds because i think it's called everything you never told me but it is things you never get over <sighs> this book it's absolutely terrible i don't understand like i i hate it <laughs> but i will admit it is very entertaining but it's absolutely terrible as well. You follow a main character, Naomi, that arrives in this small town in America somewhere. And then everyone is like hating on her instantly. And then she's like, what is going on? It was because she was meeting her twin sister and I look completely alike. And I all assume she's her sister. And then her sister basically steals her stuff and runs off. She doesn't actually see her, it just happens while she's in this cafe. And then she needs to take care of her daughter. And then there's this dude called Mox that is like kind of helping her, but being a really, really big douchebag, but also keeps saying that he's holding on her. And she's like, oh no, he's super annoying. And actually just is the kind of person that just, uh, what's it called, good to shoes that like takes care of everything and just is super nice. And then she's trying to like get her life in order because the day before she ran away from the dude that she was supposed to marry at the altar. And it's like super dramatic. It's written as if it's like... <laughs> I don't even know how it's written. Like, I thought these characters were, like, honestly, like, 17 at the oldest. It turns out that Knox, the love interest, is 40. And I was like, what do you mean he's 40? He's acting like a child. And I know it's supposed to be sexy or whatever, but I honestly, I hate him. And honestly, I kind of hate that my character, too, because she's stupid. She's like, I need to take care of anything. I'm so stressed. And she has so many ways to get help. And she doesn't do anything about it. And just the way, like, the dialogue is written. The way the book is written at all. It's just, it's so bad. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I read two pages and I knew it was going to be terrible. And honestly, I was, like, super annoyed the first, at least, like, I would say 100 pages. But then it got like slightly better in a way that you get used to how it's written and you kind of start caring a bit about these people. Because like, I care a bit, but just the way it's written is so terrible. I just like the way everything feels like, I feel like I'm like reading a bad version of the drama that happens in Grey's Anatomy. And Grey's Anatomy is a lot of fun, but it doesn't always like translate well in a book format, I would say. I would rather watch this book then read it because it's terrible but i am gonna finish it i'm gonna try to finish it tonight but we should see because i need to go to bed early because i need to wake up 6 30. Ugh. i usually wake up like 10 so yeah because i stop waking up early and be a good person good 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 student i mean <laughs> not that i'm a good person either <laughs> that's my thought so far i feel like it grows on me slightly because obviously i want to see how it goes but like literally all the characters act like they are 19 teenagers very early 20s 40 i'm like dude <laughs> ew but i'm gonna keep reading it i hate my life let's go but first i'm gonna do some work and edit video yay <laughs> i'm about to head out for school because i hadn't updated my thoughts on the news 
we could say things we never said. Literally cannot remember that I love this book. And I finished it last night. I set up very late to finish it. And I am very tired now. But yay. Um basically I it was I gave it one star because it was just terrible. The way it was set up, the way it was written, the way that like even if we had smart, I wouldn't even call it smart because the sex scenes was written so terribly. I was literally like cringing into my bones. I was like, what am I reading? It felt like I don't even know if I would call it a fan fiction. I feel like it's an insult to fan fiction. I honestly don't know what that was. <laughs> I like it. The only redeeming qualities I could see was that, like, yes, it was a quite addicting read. And you did care for some of this stuff happening. But it was just like, it was like the worst of worst of soap operas on a channel that you accidentally put on and you keep watching that terrible episode. But you just do it. Because like, you have nothing else to watch. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. It was so bad. Like the way it was written, it was terrible. The characters were terrible. Our main character had escaped from a toxic relationship. And she just literally entered a new one. And yes, this dude did take care of her in a way that no one else had. But just because you meet one dude that started to take care of you and no one else had, doesn't mean that he's a good dude. And yes, I know it's fiction. And that's blah 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 in fiction maybe in real life no one would have like give this dude a moment's notice but i know people would have i know and i'm just like no get him away from her yet and i was just like every part of it was just so typical it's nothing original and that is sometimes fine like i can read a romance where obviously you know where a romance would go but this was absolutely terrible i am actually I never felt this way before. Okay, I have, but it, I was actually surprised how bad it was. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I, I feel like I gave it a fair shot. But I was suffering. That was terrible. And even, like, <laughs> I was trying to feel excited for them. Because usually, like, I was going to say, some of the scenes can be fun. It wasn't even fun. It was cringe. And that, damn, it's bad. Okay, but I'm going to go to school. Um, Get over this one-star book. I'm he reading, what's it called? A touch of darkness today that is a hades and persephone retelling i cannot say the word name persephone persephone blah blah so i'm going to use the whole time trying to pronounce that i feel i think this is over between that i didn't even know where was that until like i accidentally read like the first part of what was it the first page i'm trying to get a key in my pocket so i usually like those we should see how that, this one goes. It's just been a bit overused at this point, but what isn't? Okay, I'm gonna need to go to school. That is quite boring, actually. See you later. Stop. Okay, so yesterday I did finish A Touch of Darkness. Is that is that the name of the book? Is it A Touch of Darkness? Or is it A Touch of Malice? Actually, who knows? I want to see. Of Darkness. 
I knew what I was talking about. Good for me. This one is, as I said, a Persephone. Persephone, I really can't say that name. And it is Vitaly. It's just about like her living in modern days. New Athens, as it's called. People know about the gods and they are like real. But like there's also like mortals there. And she's pretending to be a mortal to fit into this world. And then she meets Hades at this club. And then they start having a thing. And they're kind of this deal. So she kind of has to be with him. And then it turns out that maybe this Hades is misunderstood. Misunderstood badly. Poor guy. And then the story devolves from there. At least this time the smut didn't make me cringe. But the first smut scene, it kind of just like they skipped some parts. And I was like, what? That was such a weird choice because the next time they didn't. And I was like, what was the point of that? Well, I don't know how to say this, but Persephone, Persephone was kind of an idiot. Like she was really stupid. I just didn't get her. And then at the same time, she, she said she wanted to be part of this mortal life. All the time but i never really felt that she really tried to be like she was like i love this life blah, blah, blah. i want to be a part of this world but then i felt like when hate is gonna evolve she promptly forgot about that except like one part of that life and i was like okay so you're saying you really really care about this world but i can't really see it and then also it was just i know that this is not a book where we're gonna war world it just felt a kind of our world and then just the gods were just everywhere and it was just a bit boring i just wish it was more and the thing that bothered me the most is that it's basically lower olympus and i know that obviously since both are hades and persephone retellings they're going to be similar but it literally is the same thing <laughs> like it literally is persephone going into modern world and then starts breaking out of like the amount of her mother um control and then meets Hades in a club in both of them. And then he starts caring for her like out of nowhere in both of them. And I get that like it is retelling. So like obviously I have similar characters etc. It makes sense. But like literally plot points were the same as well. In the story almost. And I was like eh. Except that one has a bargain and one has not. And then I just realized does that mean that if you read one Hades and Persephone retelling. You have read all of them automatically. Or is it just that these two are very similar. But that bugged me a bit. Not that I'm saying that this one called Below Olympus, but it was just it was so similar that it was boring because you know exactly everything in the story in a way. And I get it, it's a retelling, so obviously you want to know where it goes, blah 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 blah. But it is also possible to have a retelling that is not completely predictable in every single aspect of the story in a way. And I just was therefore a bit bored. I was not as bored as the book I got yesterday. I thought that this was written fine. Um, it was fine, but it was just Persephone. It was just... Ugh. And then apparently, it exists a book where you can follow the same story from Hades' point of view. I honestly think that would be better. But I don't bother reading the story one more time when I know everything that's going to happen. Like, no. It's also serious. There's more coming. Uh, or, like, like, out. There's, like, three more books out. And I'm like... Will I read them at the point because I finish everything I start? Or is this the time that I should let it go? I feel like it was fine. I feel like a part of me would just usually just read it three to read it up. Because that's what I most of the time do. I would give it like a 2.5 and might run it. I think I run it down to 2 actually. Because it was just okay, fine. I didn't really feel for any of the characters. It was just like all the tropes that I don't particularly felt was done super well either so i'm like maybe i rate it higher better than the one day before it was like totally fine but it was nothing special either you know what i mean that's what i'm trying to say so yeah nothing has a wow with me yet i haven't actually decided the next book yet i have three options i need to have a little think think but i'm going to eat breakfast and i'm going to school so i guess you will know later see you then <laughs>
and I just edited a video because I am, you know, still doing Vida as you're watching this as well. Oh, my hair looks like a mess. So I edited a bit. Um, now I'm gonna read. I have decided to start hunting Adeline, which is supposedly a really, really dark romance. Like, it's actually dark, not like the guys abuse you, maybe you're trying to put them off as <laughs> not abusive, but like actually really dark. And I'm like, I'm not saying I'm excited, and maybe I will like it, and maybe it won't work, but maybe this would be more entertaining because the more I've been thinking about a touch of darkness the less i have liked it now so i feel like two was a good rating to go with so like please give me some suspense sub substance of anything i did also buy books because i did go to a couple of bookstores but i only bought books in one store wait oh i thought at first for some reason my jacket was my underwear not that i will hang it up like that and i was like oh my god i'll show you all my underwear but it was only my jacket either way the books i got was damn they are they have sunk down in my bag okay 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 yeah. so i got tags were still on and they were ugly so i feel like now i need to take them off before showing you that was actually a struggle but i did get my solo exchange diary but i got a copy this one is the secret of my last minute experience with loneliness which i actually read i was gonna say many years ago now like in 2017 to be honest which is many years ago now and i never continued and then i had a poll on my patreon where i asked which queer manga i should continue in june because i have i think at least three i'm in the middle of two others i want to start and um they've been put on hold not because they're queer but because i'm trying to read through all my other manga first and then i put on hold a bunch of manga that i was in the middle of but then i wanted to in june read through some of them and like take the others on hold or something so this was voted as the winners so i'm gonna try to read all of the ones in this series but they are a bit expensive but do you know what happened when i was actually walking like actually happened not like a promotion story but when i was walking around i was contacted by book please which is a bookstore and i asked me if i wanted to be an affiliate and I was like, sure. So I need to use the code Sandra5 and get a 5% discount. And I also get 5% off what you buy if you want to be so kind. I also became an affiliate at SciFire, which is the sister website with the same Sandra5. And you get a 5% discount. And there they have mostly a manga. So I should check out if I can get these there to see if I was going to say they're cheaper than where otherwise could get them because some of them are a bit hard to get hold of they also have used manga which is kind of cool and i also got which is very maybe random but i heard the sunspot i just hit my face this is like volume six i have volume one then i got volume one in limit which i think is volume three and I, again i only have volume one but i have a game plan for this because like there's this other sale going on in another store to basically release this didn't even win the poll but they were on sale so this is what's happening but i'm going this for the winner of the poll and i'm going to read i heard the sunspot which wasn't even the plan to buy today because i just saw them and i was like oh so i got these i got this and obviously I had other books i bought two days ago and also i finished the celery justice so now i only need to listen to one more that is soon going out and i because i listened to four hours of the audio today because i was walking around for like three hours plus plus because i went to the stores and i went to school and everything but yeah okay i'm going home tomorrow i i'm hearing people walk outside i hope they didn't hear me but like the doors are really what's it called it's really easy to hear through them which is kind of not nice but either way i was going to say i hope i finish hunting a line tonight but it's literally like 533 pages and i don't know how like I will be able to read the, light, uh, the writing. I don't know how it is yet. So, yeah, but I really need, want to finish it tonight for the only reason that is I want to read another book tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go and read now. See you later. I actually felt like uploading this vlog tonight because tomorrow morning I have more time because I need to check out some stuff. I finished Hunting Adeline. My only comment at first is why was it so long? Like, it was so long. <sighs> that was a way too long book to be a romance 
So here's the thing. I think the discussion about dark romance, etc. is difficult because I do know that there's some kind of like kink stuff to this and I'm not kink shaming. But I do also think that obviously not every dark romance book would be for everyone. And that is also, it is also allowed to read a dark romance book and be like, this is not okay for me and put your own limits on yourself. But at the same time, I also know it's kind of just trash <laughs> that you're reading it for entertainment and trash. Literally like porn. I get it. And I personally didn't have like personal triggers in this book, but I know a lot of people would have. It has stalking. It has unconsensual sex, but not like in Desperate Masters by Kate Robert, like actual, I would say, rape. I'm supposed to like the main dude just because he says traffic headed, I can't even say the word, women and children. And that's like his redeeming quality. There was just no like belief that these two people actually want to be together because like, like he was like stalking her. And I was like, you will fall for me eventually. And I was like, but why? Like the writing was not well enough for me to be convinced that these people actually care for each other except for the fact that they suddenly were horny after he stalked her. And in my head, I'm like, I get it. It was like some sign of like king for her. <laughs> but I just, no, I can't wrap my head around it. I heard that her soul to take, I read some reviews. It's not necessarily the same, but better than this. And has like some sort of like, because there's this scene, spoilers, where he <laughs> uses a gun to pleasure her. And then I saw a review saying that her soul to take had a gun pleasure scene. That was even better. And that I heard actually really good things about. So I wonder if like it has some of the same aspects to it, but it's done better. And I've been curious to read her sort of take. So now I want to kind of read that to see if that is better than this shit I just read. Because it's just like, if you look away from the fact that it made me a bit uncomfortable. Because it was like, I didn't get why she was just like, like he was literally stalking her. And then she was like, well, I guess I want to be with this guy now. I'm like... It just doesn't make sense in my head. Someone please explain it to me. I don't honestly know. Why are we supposed to care about these people as well? Like, it was so lackluster. It didn't have anything. And I just... I felt the book was missing something, like, the whole time. Even if you just look away from, like, the fact that it was about shit. <laughs> I gave it one star. Because, honestly, it wasn't even good. Like, I got bored when we were, like, starting to... I can't even stand still. When we started to have more sexual intercourse, I was like, are we done soon? Because it was so long. And there was this murder mystery going on as well. Which we were trying to find out who actually killed her great-grandmother. And I was like, I don't care. I was supposed to care about this. Why did we have a random murder mystery plot in the middle of the book? Why? I honestly, like, because I read shitty books. Like, I read Ice Pop Barbarians, okay? There was also questionable stuff in that okay i believe me i know because i read it i'm like this is weird but we're rolling here but they are just highly entertaining because they give something else because like you know it's alien smart yay fun <laughs> is that my king then but i mean aliens no king shame no king shame i'm not saying that ice pump and is good but it's entertaining and i can have fun with it this is just shit why am i just reading shit what is this <laughs> i'm almost pissed and i'm just like mm, the book just wasn't for me. It wasn't a good book. Not that I thought it would be amazing, but I thought I could be entertained by it, and I was bored. So there's that. I was a bit, I guess you can say that I was a bit creeped out, but that was just because I was like, ew, can he go away? But he sadly did not go away. I wanted him away from my world, from my brain. So yeah, if I did enough books, I would have done enough this one, but I don't. Either way, now I'm gonna go to bed. A bit earlier than the other days, but not really. <laughs> I'm fucked. I'm sleepy at school all this. And then I am going to read another one tomorrow. I have traveling like all day tomorrow. So I, I want to try to finish two books so that I have five for this vlog. And I don't need to read any more of this shit when I get home. I am going to start out with The Silent Patient. Which I do believe, was it released in 2019? I don't know. So I feel like it's been released for a while. But I feel like it was highly popular now recently because of TikTok. But I also feel like it's also popular maybe also TikTok, so maybe it's not the best book for this. But I know because I walk in the store and like we have it in Norwegian and it's sold like very, very well now. Because it's Easter and I know when it was Easter, everyone eats crab. 
Oh, well, it was Easter last week, then not anymore. It sold super well then. And my mom was reading it the other day. And I was like, if my, my mom found it randomly at like a free little library. And then I feel like if my mom is reading it randomly, it's just because, obviously she's, she's not on TikTok. But then like, it's become so mainstream that like she can find it randomly. I, I don't know how to describe it. And I think that's because of TikTok. I might be wrong, but I know it's recommended a lot there. So I'm counting it for this. This is not a symmetric book. This is actually, I think, a mystery or like some sort of like psychological thriller or something. Like a crime novel or something. But I tend to hate those. <laughs> this is just me hate reading this whole thing. So I'm really curious to see if this is actually as good as people say. It needs to have some sort of plot twist if I'm going to be arrested. And I'm going to be reading it while traveling. So hopefully I will get to grasp the details. And then obviously I won't be able to update because I am not going to talk to you guys at the airport. But yeah, if I finish that, I'm going to read Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. This I know is popular because of TikTok. Also her other books, like the blue one and the purple one. The Christ one, maybe it's not blue actually. And I, I don't know, I don't think, this is not smutty, right? This is like a mystery thing, right? It doesn't look like a romance book. It looks like a, like, kind of mystery kind of thing. And that's what I'm expecting. So I'm hoping to read both of those tomorrow. Wish me good luck. I I, I will I probably, I like, I will be traveling for a couple of hours. And have trains and plane and waiting time. And my flight always gets delayed. But if not, I will probably just get to one time and read the next one tomorrow. But I want to just tell you, oh God, I almost fell over. I was about to say I didn't show you what books about, but I did. Wow, look at me. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Good night. Hello, I am. As you can see, I'm home. <laughs> I've been home for a while, but I um, have been just tired of playing games. And I did finish The Sound of Patient and Girl in Pieces when traveling. So I guess we need to talk about them. So I finished The Sound of Patient first. It was a very addicting fast read. It follows this psychiatrist that wants to treat this famous painter that killed her husband and hasn't talked since she did it and then we like have him like interviewing her family members in a way to find her mindset because she doesn't have a voice i guess he's like trying to find her voice through all of these different people and then things unravel and there is plot twists or one big plot twist, I guess you can say. Which was very interesting. I do admit that it was fun to see the twist. Even though at the same time. I wouldn't exactly say I saw it coming. But a part of me kind of knew that there was some stuff in there that didn't make sense. And it's still stuff that doesn't make sense. Because now I felt like, what was the point of some parts of the story? But I guess it was done our way to the off. <laughs> I thought it was a good time. Like, it was entertaining. It managed to keep you on your toes. You wanted to know what was going on. And I don't think it's a new favorite that I'm gonna, like, have close to my heart forever. But my enjoyment was high. Even though I also feel like parts of the book didn't honestly make sense. Like, honestly, I was like, what? But it was still a fun time. And I can definitely see why so many people enjoy it. I don't think it's like the most revolutionary psychological thriller I read. But enjoyment was still high. And like, if someone asked me if I recommend it, I would be like, yeah, like, it is a good time. I was happy to finally read a book I kind of liked. Oh my god, I've just been reading so many crappy books. And it was well written. Even though, again, I feel like there were some discrepancies that, like, logically in my head, I was like, this does not make sense. But, again... Just to read it for the pure enjoyment of like unraveling this was a great time. And I actually give it three out of five stars because I liked it. And again, it's a book that's selling really well. I feel like it's a book that is really easy to sell. So like if someone asked me at work if I recommended it, I would be like, yes. And probably like it would be an easy way to get people reading because it is a book that is also just really easy to get into and read. So, 
I was gonna say pleasantly surprised because as we know, the other books in this log has not been as successful. <laughs> then I read Girl in Pieces, which I honestly, I didn't hate. <laughs> I don't think necessarily it was a bad book either. It basically follow our main character, Charlie, that has a history of self-harm. And then she is in this, uh, I was just gonna say, constitution for a little while before like going out into the world. It's a book about depression and self-harm and suicidal thoughts. And it is sad. But to be a book about sadness, it is also filled with hope and wanting to look forward to the future and trying to find meaning of life and friendships, etc. But the way it was written was so annoying. I'm sorry. Like, I get the message of the book. I can see that part of it was very sad, but still, like, I just couldn't really write it. I felt like it was trying to be, like a Tumblr quote page and I just couldn't for me it just did not work it made me like really fall out of the story I just could not deal with it I don't think the story is bad <laughs> like like some of the others I've read here I don't think the story is bad I just for me the writing didn't work and I just didn't I didn't hate it but I didn't I didn't really like it either I feel like it falls very important topics that it's important to write about. You know, mental health is important. But it didn't give, for me, what I wanted to. But I can see it hits many other people. So I would give maybe like 2.5 maybe. I don't know if I would even round it up to 3. But still higher than some of the others here, honestly. I don't know if I would recommend it. But it is it is another book that is like... It's about mental health. It's about hope. When I say the synopsis and what the book actually felt like when I read it, they don't match completely. I don't know how to describe it. So I don't think I don't think it's the worst book ever. <laughs> but it wasn't for me in the way it was written, and just it didn't didn't really hold my attention at all, honestly. So we have now done five books for the spy. <laughs> Incredible. Before we leave, I do have two books I bought at the airport that I can show you, which was Authority and Acceptance, both by Jeff Vandermeer, which are the sequels to Annihilation. And this is a trilogy, so now I have like the whole, I think it's called Southern Reach trilogy, maybe? Is that what it's called? Also, these are huge. Like, Annihilation is like so small. These are like, honestly huge. <laughs> In comparison, but I, I have this thing where I feel like they change around covers a lot on like sci fi lately. I don't know. Or like how to see sci fi in general. Like after a few years, they changed out the whole series in new covers. And I have the first one in the pink one. So I wanted these to match because before when I wanted to get these, they had a completely different cover and then I changed them. So I felt like I wanted to just get a hold of them now so I get the whole series to match before it's too late. That has now happened to several series. So I just got them. Because I knew they had them there at the airport. And now I have the whole series. This is a series I want to keep and like read and enjoy. I really enjoyed the first one. So I wanted them. That was a little haul. So all together in Oslo I bought... I bought eight books, right? Is that math? Eight books? Yes. This number. Yeah. Do, do I need to rank the books now? <laughs> like I, I was thinking I was going to wrap up tomorrow. But now I'm like I might as well wrap up now. Bottom book is actually... The things we couldn't say. The thing, literally, this book's title escapes my brain. The things I never told you. The things we never get over. That is the title. Absolutely terrible. Didn't like how it was written. Went from one toxic relationship to another. And just the plot. Not that it needed necessarily the plot. It is a romance, but like. Then I'm putting. Haunting. Alan, I don't know why this is over things you never got over, but for some reason things we never got over, I just like that more personally. I also dislike Haunting Adelaide because I feel like the dark romance could have been something, but then um, it just delivers nothing. <laughs> I wish it delivered something, honestly. S anything, anything would have been better than what we got. And I just, I'm just thinking about the cliffhanger and other thought, and I want to. I want to scream. I think this book thinks it is better than it is. 
which maybe is rude to say, but whatever. Then I'm taking, I think, girly pieces, which is maybe weird, but my enjoyment of A Church of Darkness, part of that was more enjoyable than A Girl in Pieces. So my enjoyment is playing in a lot here. Just because, well, I do get that this book could work for someone. It didn't work for me. And I just didn't care. <laughs> Which is, again, maybe rude to say. And then A Touch of Darkness, just because it is Hades and Persephone. I do like Greek mythology. I just wish that everything in that book could have been done better. And just not be like, typical misunderstood that both thing. But it was like an easy quick read at least. So it made it more bearable. And then apparently Silent Patient 1, which I would not have expected. Obviously a very different kind of book. But just like because it was so addicting and it was like actually like semi well written story. If I like look away from some logical stuff, I had a good time. So that is my ranking. Those were some very popular TikTok books. And I still think it's amazing that BookTok makes people read. Why did they reading over there? <laughs> now I need to find good ones that I enjoyed. I don't know. But th this was an experiment. I would say failed in a way that I had to suffer through these books. Honestly, like, what am I? What was I thinking? You know, I thought. I can retrash. I, I retrash books, okay? And I have a great time with them. This wasn't even trash. This was... Either way, I hope you understand if you really love these books. I'm very happy for you that you found solace and happiness in these books. Because I get happy when people find happiness in books. I just... They weren't for me, a lot of them. And that is also okay. And I'm gonna go. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for me on my trip, even though I know I didn't film as much not me talking. And you should see me soon in a new one. Leave. How I can't even leave a silent patient down below. That doesn't work, right? Disappointed face down below. If you enjoyed. Because we are disappointed. But then I feel like I'm going to feel like everyone is judging me. They're all disappointed in me. <laughs> we'll, we'll work away that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. You should see me soon.